mom used to force me to watch this Murphs. Force? Yeah, yeah, by force. Um, it was a very violent household I lived in. Um, no, every Saturday morning she loved the Smurfs and um, you know even collected the cups and things like that. So she would make me watch it. So to spite her, I would always say that Gargamel was my favorite and I loved Azriel. Is that why you would randomly break out in tears during, during filming? Sometimes, yes. It brought back <laughs> some, some things I had disassociated myself from. I grew up in the early 80s watching TV when Saturday morning cartoons were, that's when you watched cartoons. It wasn't networks full of them all the time, so Smurfs was a big part of it. Hanna-Barbera had their show every, every week, so I wasn't a rabid collector of figurines or comics or bed sheets or things like that. You weren't addicted to this one. I wasn't as addicted as, as some, some yeah. but I, uh, I found them a little creepy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> The song maybe? The or? song and then Gargamel it's, it's was like kind of evil and the cat wanted to give. Like, there was always kind yeah. of a ferociousness <laughs> in Gargamel Smurfs. Gargamel I feel like there were days after you would hear them singing it while we were on set that it wouldn't go away. And I felt a little manic. But I feel like that most days anyway. <laughs> so. I, uh, I really only sing the theme song um, when I'm making Sweet Love. Oh, well, that's nice. So. It is nice. That sounds hot. It's very nice. That's my sort of <laughs> very sexy sound. He was amazing to work with. I, I was a big fan of his, I think everyone knows this by now, <laughs> um, before we worked together. Um, but it was, uh, it, it was fun, I had fun working with you. Even when we were, it was fun when we were working and then even when we had downtime on site, it was a lot of fun. And I concur, I, w I had the good fortune of being cast before Jayma, and so I was sort of in the, in the know of, well, who's gonna be my wife, that's, that's pivotal. And when her name was, uh, was part of that mix, I was very uh, fingers crossy. And uh, then when she got it, I was thrilled. She's great. She's the perfect blend of, uh, of, of family movie, funny movie, irreverent, wacky. I think that was really important, too, for this film. I think right. you have to have a good sense of humor when you're doing films like this. And I think we had a good time. I think it was important uh, in the movie that it looked like we were in a relationship already. Because right, yeah. we were, were expecting a child and stuff. So I didn't want the dialogue to, make, to seem staid and boring. And so I wanted to, we worked really hard on the dialogue so that we finished each other's sentences and so that we had, you, you understood that we were a couple from the get. I've had so many people come up since they heard the film was being made and that we made it last summer saying that they're big Smurf fans. People coming up saying they have like 200 Smurf figurines, you know, in glass curio cabinets in their home. It, yeah, that's a little know. bizarre. It's a little we, Smurf we're, orders. We were working very hard to make sure that the love the positivity element of Smurfs came through, that it wasn't just a wacky, you know, irreverent, all the way through kind of movie. Yeah. So I, I worry that those hardcore fans that want that may be disappointed, but I think for families or for people that have a more open mind, they'll love it.